Hello, my friends. John LaRuffa here with another Unbiased Unboxing. And in this episode, we're going to look at Turing Machine, a game I've been looking forward to for quite a long time. We'll see what this looks like when we open it up. And as usual, folks, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. And if you have, thank you so much for the support. I really do appreciate it. All right, so I do think it's kind of cool and thematic that the front of the box has the little punch outs. That is cool. I appreciate, though, more than anything, the fact that you can see what the game looks like on the back. It's not just some abstract thing. It kind of shows you what you've got going on, and you get the components and the sides. Everything looks good. So, without further delay, let's see what it looks like inside the box. Ooh. Let's do that without... <clears throat> oh, here we go. This one's not so tight. This looks like a really cool puzzle game for a solo gamer like me. So I'm very much looking forward to it. I like deduction games like this. All right, so there you go. You can see the uh, cover itself. Like I said, has that cool effect to it. See through. And then we've got the rules here. I did already read the rules. They seem pretty, pretty self-explanatory as far as how to play. But this also seems like one of those things where, you know, with deduction games, you've got to basically try it out to get the full experience. So really, this gameplay is basically, you know, two pages and that's it. They give you a nice example of play right here, which I appreciate, some reminders. And then they clarify the way the cards are set up and then to play solo it looks like you need to go online at least to not necessarily use their puzzles you could do it without but that will tell you how um you know, how many turns it took the ai i guess or the algorithm or whatever the artificial intelligence took to find the code so that um you know gives you a baseline to play from okay component wise here we've got this stack of double-sided scratch pads um, or notepads, I should say, which I'm happy they're double-sided. That's really good. All right, components. Looks like we've got medium-thin cardboard. And definitely easy to punch out. Two of them already fell out on me. So no worries there. Okay, now these are supposedly dry erase friendly. So I'm going to guess that there's no point in even thinking about sleeving them. Plus, I look at the size here. And it's a weird size, or it's at least larger than I've seen for these kind of cards. So let's hope that their quality is really good so I don't even have to worry about it. All right, cracking them open now. They do have a nice glossy texture on them that looks like they're made for dry erase. They're, uh, I don't think there's going to be any real problems here with that approach. Okay, they are 100% functional because this is how the whole thing works. You use these for the verifiers and it helps you verify, you know, what, what you're looking at, your assumptions, which is kind of cool. So from what I understand, you put three cards together because you're trying to guess a three-digit passcode. And when you put those together, you put them through the various verifiers and they tell you something about the actual cards you're trying to verify. So, for instance, one of them could say, you know, this uh, orange number is going to be greater than three. And if it looks like if it comes back a check, then you know it was, in fact, greater than three. If it comes back an X, then you know, well, it wasn't greater than three. You don't know if it's equal to three. You don't know if it's less or you know it's less than three or equal to three. But you don't know if it's a two, a one, a three or whatever. Same thing with the greater than. You just know it's greater than that condition. All right, now these are really delicate. I'll tell you that right now. Um, I'm going to need to handle these with care. They're very thin. I would have liked it if they were a little beefier, especially since these are going to be what you're doing most of the game. I'm guessing they're so thin because there's one of them here, like, fell out. This uh, needed to be punched with precision. There was a lot of them that needed to be punched. Well, I'll leave that in there. But... These are pretty thin, so you're going to need to be, you know, be very gentle in handling these. You can see how thin that is. I wish they were a little thicker. Okay. Now we've got our player screens here. 
And the player screens are just that. They kind of tell you what your round structure is and then kind of how to interpret what the X and what the check means. And that's it. We have some bags. Well, we have a bag to hold those cards, more or less. And then we have all of these, which are um, verifiers. So what works is, is that you put these, I guess, um, this is the explanation. I don't know how the actual thing 100% works. Maybe these are linked to those other cards or something. I got to still explore that, of course. Um, these are also really good quality. So these are okay. Maybe they just, those other ones feel thin because they've got all the holes in them. Um, that could be it too. But these are fine. You're not supposed to write on these. These are just all the different verifying conditions. So you can see you have 48 different cards here that you can use to try to verify what the code is. And then they gave you one dry erase marker. Good thing I'm playing this by myself. Probably wouldn't have killed them to give you more than one, but I guess you only need this one time when you're marking on the back of the cards what conditions this is for, and that's it. Because the rest of it, you're going to use a pencil for. So, okay, I'll uh, leave my quibble aside. All right, so that's about the size of it. Looks like this this um, organizer will hopefully be functional. I know once you set up this little uh, card holder, it's supposed to go in there, and you're not supposed to take it back apart. So that's it. All right, folks, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Whatever you decide to play in the future, I hope you have a fantastic time doing it. Take it easy now.